Hey, what is up ladies and gentlemen, and this is your boy Johnny, and today we have a new video talking about the 120 hertz on the PlayStation 5. So believe it or not, there is a very big issue that many people are wondering, um, why can I get 120 hertz on my TV, monitor, or projector? So I do have a 120 hertz capable projector, actually 240 hertz projector, which runs fine with the Xbox and as well as the PC. But for the PlayStation 5, for some reason, there is literally no way to enable 120 hertz on 1080p. So I'm not saying my projector has HDMI 2.1, which is the 4K capable of 120 hertz on HDMI. Um, but I do have a projector that is capable at 1080p, uh, 120 hertz. And the PlayStation 5 is capable of running games at, at 1080p, 120 hertz. Matter of fact, many games actually run at 120 hertz on 1080p. You can't even get them in 4K at that uh, frame rate speed. So this is an issue that Sony has to fix because it's a really bad issue and... You know, not everybody has a 120 hertz 4K television. And basically, when you go into the screen and video settings, you you can do whatever you want. You can put in performance mode. Um, people said put in performance mode. It'll give you 120 hertz at 1080p. Um, it still does not work. It just doesn't enable itself. And maybe people have been trying this without with um, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Many people have been trying it out with that game. And it's still shows up as disabled so as you guys can see i took in everybody's suggestions and basically i even changed my resolution to automatic uh it's supposed to change itself on the resolution to uh 4k uh and then it, if you run the performance mode and you disable ray tracing and call of duty black ops cold war you should have a thing to enable the the 120 hertz um but as you guys are going to see right now in this video is that we're going to go ahead and go into the settings and we're still not going to get it into 120 hertz at 1080p. Uh, it doesn't matter. I know that I'm not running at 4K 120 hertz at all. I know that I can't run it because my device is a HDMI 2.1. And for the people that are saying that HDMI 2.1 isn't capable yes it is it's capable of running at 1080p at 120 hertz and and probably even capable of running everything else as well and i do have a soundbar connected uh but I, I i didn't i even disconnected my soundbar uh and connected it straight to the ps5 to the projector so i wouldn't wouldn't have any issues i even heard uh people finding their own solutions where they actually take a capture car with a 240 uh hertz pass through and then it actually enabled for some reason under 1080p at 120 hertz so you know what i like about the xbox and i'm not trying to be a fanboy or anything but the xbox literally gives you an option like in pc that you can go ahead and choose 120 hertz on pc i mean on your xbox you can literally choose it on the hdmi that if you want to do 1080p at 120 hertz you can do that on xbox and it works with every projector um, but for some reason, on this t on this projector, and it's not the projector, it's the PlayStation 5, there's an issue with it, and there's a lot of other people who do not have a 4K 120Hz monitor, but they do have a 1080p monitor that's capable of 144Hz and 120Hz. So, it's an issue with the PlayStation 5 system where they need to make a system software update. If they don't make a system software update, I will be extremely disappointed because this is a big major issue if they don't enable 120 hertz on 1080p. And believe it or not, I wouldn't even recommend 4K at 120 hertz unless the game really runs at 120 hertz, which I highly doubt it. But a big feature for me on the PlayStation 5 was to be able to run at least 1080p games at 120 hertz because you're getting more frames. Um, and the quality still looks really good, but it's just becoming an issue at the moment. And I don't know. I don't know. Um, I, I, I don't think there's any way around it. it. I think people, the only people that are having quite a success with this at uh, running 120 hertz are people who have HDMI 2.1 and who have a television that's 4K and 120 hertz capable. But if you have a 4K um, 
device that's capable of 60 hertz and then it's capable of 1080p 120 hertz it will not work it's a uh, it's a big issue i think that sony needs to be addressed uh this issue and uh, many people need to start complaining to sony to make an update where they give us the option just to actually enable 1080p at 120 hertz now i haven't tested it out with any other games um only call of duty cold war but even in the settings like i'll show you once again in the settings when i enable it uh in the settings it the it's i think it's a playstation issue the playstation um basically when you enable it in screen and video you even change the resolution to 1080p um it's supposed to detect the 120 hertz but obviously it's not detecting it at all like literally it will not detect it at all uh, we're gonna switch the resolution as you guys can see we're gonna go to video output information it's just showing 60 hertz and and some people say well you have to enable game mode i have a projector uh we have i have enhanced gaming mode which basically allows you to allows you to enable higher refresh rates uh, on your television or your projector whatever you, you may have a game mode on your television that probably sometimes enables it um and another thing people were mentioning well it may be your hdmi cable i've tried it with the original one that came in with the playstation 5 it still does not work i i know for a fact that my hdmi cable is capable of doing 120 hertz because it does it with the xbox the xbox literally gives you an option now i don't know this is a major issue i think this needs to be addressed because not everybody has a 4k 120 hertz my television or a sony television that's able to do this but because that's where i'm well, that's what i'm hearing i'm hearing that 4k 120 hertz televisions are the one that are basically um allowing this to work with 120 hertz and then people who have maybe a monitor that's 28 1080p at 120 hertz is not working or if they have a 4k 60 hertz support and um and at lower resolutions like 1080p uh 120 hertz it's not working this is a quite a big issue and like i read a comment on somebody that they said that they need they needed to use a capture a gaming capture card which had a pass through of 240 hertz i believe and that allowed them to actually um enable the 120 hertz on their console so it's a big issue i hope they do fix it um overall i'm enjoying the playstation 5 uh I'm okay with 4K 60 hertz. Don't get me wrong; it, it still looks pretty good at 4K 60 hertz. But um, 120 hertz was a big feature I wanted to try out on the PlayStation 5 because it it would um, it would be really awesome to try it out. It's better frames, um, um, and it looks a little bit smoother gameplay. So especially when it comes to first person shooters, you want to go ahead and and do that. So like I said, I'm directly connected to my projector, which is a UHD 50X, is capable of 120 hertz. I tested it out on Xbox, no issue there. But on PlayStation 5, there is an issue. Hopefully Sony addresses this issue uh, for people who have 1080p monitors that are capable of 120 hertz. Uh, I really hope they do. Uh, you guys got to realize that not everybody is upgrading to 4K uh, 120 hertz. You know, not everybody's going to upgrade to that uh, to television. And I think 4K 60 hertz is fine, in my opinion. It looks fine for me. Uh, most games aren't even running at 4K 60 hertz. Only a certain titles will run at that uh, frame rate. But I can assure you in the future when graphics get more intense, most games won't even be able to run 4K uh, at 60 hertz. Um, uh, but we're getting there. We're getting there. I'm not saying that the PlayStation 5 isn't capable, but, you know, uh, they need to fix this issue. Uh, I hope they, that maybe this video <laughs> spreads awareness of this issue because there needs to be a system update for this. It's ridiculous that we can't choose the 1080p 120 hertz option when we definitely have capable monitors. I don't know if there's a bug going around that for some reason is not detecting it, but it, it's definitely not me not not me the only person that's experiencing this it's a it's a lot of people anyways guys thanks for watching make sure to hit the subscribe button and the like